Good morning! A few things. I vlogged most of the days this week. I uploaded them on iMovie and I thought that having them on the like film strip means that it's already like imported. So I proceeded to delete the footage on the camera because it was full. Long story short, I lost all of the footage. So we are starting from scratch. I am re-watching The Good Witch because I looked for whether or not there was going to actually be magic in the show. There wasn't. But I read what it's supposed to be, like what the show is intended to portray or how it intended to portray witches. And now that I am seeing the show in this new light as it's supposed to be, I am loving it very much. <laughs> so I watched the original TV film from I think 2008 and now I am starting from season one and I am enjoying it. I have to finish a report for tomorrow and I also have to review a lot of stuff. I will take you with me and hope that I have enough content to show you. Okay. Also, I uploaded Once Upon a Dream, like a kalimba and vocals cover of Once Upon a Dream on my channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm just gonna fix my room up now while I'm watching Good Witch. I keep saying The Good Witch, but the title is actually just Good Witch. So I'll be watching Good Witch. start on my report. I said this in one of the videos that I deleted, but I like listening to ambient music and the one I found recently that I really liked, it was Volt, the Volt of Ambience. I like listening to Fantasy Village Music and Ambience and this is what the description says before I play the music. It says, Hello Traveler, thank you for stopping by my vault. If you're here, that means you've been looking for tranquility and happiness. You've come to the right place, my friend, and you are welcome to stay as long as you want. I will. I had breakfast. I usually fall asleep. After I have breakfast, I had a cup of coffee. I'm hoping I stay awake to finish all of this because this is due tomorrow and I really want to do good. Okay. just finished putting in the content and scripting my part of the report so I am taking a short break. My parents asked for some iced coffee so I think this is the perfect opportunity to show you some minor improvements in my coffee making experience and while I do that I will continue to watch some Good Witch. Heading out into the burning heat to make some coffee. Bum bum wow. It is 5.22. A while ago, I decided that instead of waking up to alarms in the morning, I wanted to wake up to uh, Ryan Holiday's The Daily Stoic Podcast. So today, the episode I'm listening to is the one where he interviews Oliver Berkman. Some days, the episodes are short enough so that I hear it, I wake up, and it ends, and I fall back asleep. Today he talked about, I mean I'm not done with the episode, but I started to wake up to him talking about Memento Mori. Then he started talking about this book called 4,000, what is it? What is the name of the book? 
4,000 weeks time management for mortals. They also start to talk about Palm Springs. And I was like, I, I know what they're talking about. I know the show. It's Andy Samberg. Based on the trailer, I know that it's about um, living the same day over and over again. And then Oliver Berkman starts to relate. I'm sorry, that's my cat. Sir, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, my love. So he starts to relate um, Palm Springs to the pandemic, saying that, come on, Maxi, it's fine, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Like when the pandemic started, everybody got stuck almost all the time at home. I kind of felt that. Just yesterday, I said to myself, I can't believe it's still Sunday. It's like a weird time warp. Feels like it's still the weekday. I constantly have to check what day it is because everything seems to just blend together. All the days just seem like one big blob. So, 4,000 weeks time management for mortals. It apparently uses the number 4,000 because that is approximately 80 years old, just below 80. I never considered that I might live through this pandemic and reach 80 years old, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. Life is so short. Anyway, my report is at 10 a.m. I decided to wake up early to study some more. That is the alarm for me to start working out, but I'll do that after. Remember, I lost a lot of footage from accidentally deleting them before they got completely uploaded to uh, my computer? I recently ordered some stationery from my friend Abby's tiny shop called Tiny Flows. It is a Filipino stationery studio that recognizes mindfulness as an essential part of productivity. So I bought one of each of the stickers and one of each of the notepads. And I also got the notebook. How long can the quote or message on the notebook be? And then she says, the longest we've done is a whole John Mayer stanza. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I had her write a script off of one of my favorite podcasts, Radio Lab, podcast episodes from Radio Lab. It's called Where the Sun Don't Shine. If I remember correctly, this episode talks about Voyager 1. Voyager 1 is what gave us the first actual pictures of the solar system. So then Voyager went out, like, outwards from the Earth towards like let's say the edge of the solar system <laughs> and as soon as it reached at the time i think it was just neptune i don't think it got to pluto right after it reached neptune it turned around and then okay so the quote goes this way but down in one corner kind of a suspended in a sunbeam there is a very small dot blue a pale blue dot why does it make me feel so emotional? It is so early in the morning and I feel so emotional. I wanted to say that I like feeling small. And when I say that, I mean that I like seeing things from a much, 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 much bigger picture. Because my biggest problems, especially in med school and now in internship, since it's online we can't actually train in the hospital so i mean when when that time comes when we get to the hospital things will probably change like how i think will probably change but right now while we are on online learning but well, one of my biggest concerns is getting things wrong getting perceived as incompetent or inadequate and when i think about those concerns from a much bigger picture, it is so small. Those are such small problems. I don't know, to me, that just kind of helps me deal with the negative emotions or thoughts that those concerns bring. So, relating that to Memento Mori, as well as with the other times I spoke about how often I think about the shortness of life. I wish I were more eloquent. <laughs> Maybe this would be more interesting to listen to. But going back to that, I 
considered a long time ago. I mean, not a long time ago, probably last year. I considered the things that I valued. So when I have weird anxieties that have to do with, they might think I'm stupid. They might think, oh my gosh, what will they think of me? Thoughts like that. I realized that people can think what they want about you or me. I decided and realized that it just wasn't going to be my thing to worry about other people thinking about me a particular way. So I feel like I was rambling, but I hope you were able to pick things off from that. Wow, somebody else is early at, up at 5.45. Yep, my mother. I should start preparing for my report. Now let's see, let's see, let's see how I manage trying to study at 5.45. Come on, come on.